So there's a scene in the first Sonic movie that I find underrated. My opinion on this movie is a little different than what you might expect from someone who is a fan of the games. I like it not just because it has Sonic in it, but because it has a story that can stand on its own and has some relatable moments, such as Sonic falling into depression after contemplating the fact that he has no friends. The feeling of loneliness isn't a very pleasant feeling to have. Sonic literally tries to run away from that feeling in this movie, and for good reason. Socializing with others, connecting with others, sharing your experiences with others feels very nice and exciting when they're the right people you're hanging around. And I know from my experience how tricky it is to find people that resonate with your specific personality and lifestyle. For some reason, Sonic trusts Donut Lord to be that guy for him. He believes that Tom's going to be that person who fills that hole in his heart. So the specific scene I want to talk about is the one where Sonic curiously checks out a bar to see what it's about. He's never been to one so it makes sense. Tom marches in and gets upset that Sonic gave into his temptation, since he specifically told him to wait in the car. Hilariously, Sonic doesn't give a crap about Donut Lord's impatience, though he does ask him a question about a phrase he's never heard of. Are you having fun? I'm gonna check this off the old bucket list, huh? Big night for you. What's a bucket list? A list of things you wanna do in your life before you, well, kick the bucket. Unless they build some kind of technology in the future that guarantees immortality for humans, the reality is we're all going to die one day. Some of us may be busy with schoolwork, with projects, with stressful work in general, so we rarely ever get the chance to think about what it is we really want to do in our lives if there literally was nothing holding us back whatsoever. Well, a bucket list removes all the excuses we have, all the doubts, all the obstacles, and gets to the damn point. If you could do anything you want, what would you do? Who would you be? If you haven't made one already, I want you to literally pause this video, get a piece of paper out, and write down your own personal bucket list. Though my advice is to try not to write something so out of your control and predictable like winning the lottery or becoming famous. Those things can happen, yes, but instead of success goals, I recommend writing down goals that are more in your control. You might need a little help to get to those goals, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm assuming by now, you've written down your own bucket list. You could see Sonic jotting down his, but then he gets sad once he realizes how much he hasn't experienced. Wow, what's the matter? There's so much stuff I've never done. And now that I'm leaving Earth forever, I guess I missed my chance. What I find inspiring about this scene is instead of pouting about lost time, the two decide to make the most out of what they have around them and tackle every goal they possibly can in that very bar. And then they have this scene where we can see them having a great time, enjoying their epic life moment. In the span of an hour, Sonic is able to experience dancing, darts, arcade basketball, machine bull riding, and a bar fight. I seriously hope you didn't write down and get into a bar fight on your bucket list. The point is, Sonic was able to satisfy most of his curiosity cravings by just doing them. Shout out to that legendary Shia LaBeouf video, just do it. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Nobody says YOLO anymore, but that acronym applies for this video. You only live once. Now that doesn't mean be reckless with your decision making, but when opportunities present themselves, see where it goes, see what you learn, see if you even like it in the first place. Get disappointed even, it's fine, at least you can say you've experienced it. Another example in this movie is the scene where the Blue Devil and Donut Lord chill in a motel. Sonic gets creative with not much around him. I want to soak up every last second. Anything you can find to do in this room, you knock yourself out. Good times! Shortly after, Sonic falls asleep, then Tom looks over Sonic's list and notices that they got most of his goals done, which is an impressive achievement. However, what is perhaps his greatest desire, making a real friend, hasn't been crossed out yet. 
The good news is, if you've watched this movie, you would know that he accomplishes this goal as well by the end of the story. He does it by simply trusting in Tom that he would be that guy for him. Optimism, trust, and faith is what he needed and is what anybody needs to get that greatest desire crossed out on the bucket list. With all that being said, I guess there's only one question left. So, what's on your bucket list?